Hello and welcome to this lesson where we'll be looking at how to round numbers to significant figures. So stay tuned. Behind me we have three different examples of numbers, okay? So here we have 17.4864, then we have 49,329, and then we have this decimal, so 0 0.0429028. But what is a significant figure? What does it mean, significant figure? Write down this terminology. A significant figure is the first non-zero number that turns up in your number, okay? So here, the first significant figure is the one. It's not a zero, it's a non-zero number. So one is the first significant figure. And here, the first significant figure will be the four. Four is the first significant figure. Now. Look at this number here. You see, this is not a significant figure because the first number is not non-zero. It is zero. So zero, if it comes first, cannot be a significant figure. And if we continue, again, this is not the first significant figure. Four here is the first significant figure. So here, one is the first significant figure, four here, and four here as well. And of course, after that, any number can be a significant figure. So here, seven is the second significant figure, four is the third significant figure, so on and so forth. Here, nine is the second significant figure, three is the sec uh, third significant figure, so on and so forth. Two here is the second significant figure, nine is the uh, third significant figure, and here, this is an interesting one, so make a note of this, we have zero again. Remember, Zero, if it comes first in your number, it can't be a significant figure. However, if you've had one number already which is not a zero, then here zero is the fourth significant figure. Okay, this is very, very important to understand that. Okay, that zero after it comes into in the numbers where you've already had your significant figure, it can hold a significant figure place value. So now what we are going to do is we are going to round numbers to a particular significant figure. So, um, let's try, we're going to round to one significant figure, we'll round to two significant figure, three significant figures as well, okay? Usually, uh, those three are the most common ones in an exam, all right? And each time we do this, I'm going to start on this order. We're going to do this one first, then this one, and then we're going to look at that one last, because this one sometimes can catch a few people out, all right? So let's look at this. We're going to round to one significant figure, two significant figure, and three significant figure. So we're going to round, this number to 1SF, 2SF, 3SF. Now, just like um, with rounding decimals, you apply the same principles, okay? Except this time you're referring to significant figures. So I'm just gonna grab my pen over here. So one significant figure is the number one here, all right? So we want to just write the one here, but we consider the number next to our first significant figure. Now, if this number is five or more, then we increase the first significant figure by one, okay? However, if it's less than five, then we leave it as it is. Now we have a seven here. So the first significant figure here, let's just write this down here. So one would stay, this is part of our number, right? Now we have to consider whether we make the one into a two or not. Seven will increase that to a two. So therefore we're gonna write two here. Now our answer can't just stay as a two, okay? We have to have a place a holder here because this is 17.4864. It's a huge value, it's, it's, it's in the 20s or between 10 to 20. So therefore, we, need to, we can't just um, relegate it down to becoming a two. So we'll make it into 20. So rounding this to the first significant figure will be 20. We don't have to write the rest of these numbers down. Hopefully you've understood that. We will um, look at it with this one and this one as well and then you'll start to get the hang of it. Because as with everything, you need to do a couple of examples. All right. So now let's round this number to two significant figures. So this is the first, this is the second significant figure. So we'll consider the numbers after that. So four, it will leave the seven as it is. So to two significant figures, this will be 17, to two significant figures. What do you think it will be to three significant figures? Try yourselves and see if your answer matches with mine. All right, so to three significant figures, um, the four is the third significant figure, so therefore we will isolate that from the rest of it, and then we'll consider the number next to the four. That's an eight, which means it will make this go up by one. So therefore, we will have 17.5. So 
to three significant figures. Now, if you go back and look at all of these numbers, so one significant figure, yes, it looks like we've got two significant figures here, but we had to have that zero there, um, but this is one significant figure for this answer, for this number rather. To two significant figures, we had 17, there's two significant figures here, and for three significant figures, we had one, two, three significant figures. Now that you've seen one example, try this one completely by yourselves, pause the video and press play when you are ready to go through it again. All right, so let's see what you came out with. So we are going to round this to one significant figure, two significant figure and three significant figure. Let's see what happens with one significant figure first. So this is the first significant figure, remember, right? So we consider the number after that and the number's two, which means it will keep the four in its place. So to one SF, to one significant figure, this will be 0 0.04. And in bracket, we'll just write one SF. Now, let's do it to two significant figures. So with two significant figure, we have these two. These are the, uh, this is first significant figure, second significant figure. And then we will consider the number after that. Now, this is a nine. The nine means that it will make this go up by one. So this will become a three, giving us 0 0.043 to two significant figures. And once again, can you see, if you look at the final answer to one SF, we have one significant figure here. To two SF, we have two significant figures there, okay? And finally, to three significant figures, we will consider all of these three numbers. So again, the zero here will, won't do anything to this. So the answer will be 0 0.0429. So 0 0.0429 to three significant figures, three SF. And finally, this brings us to our last one. And this is the one that I say that most students find quite difficult. However, we did kind of um, touch upon it when we did the first one. So this is the number uh, 49,329. And we want to round it to one significant figure, two significant figure, and three significant figures. I'm just going to get rid of this because we might need the space. So this is our first significant figure. We consider the number next to this, right? So this number here is a nine, so therefore it's gonna make this into a five. So we're just gonna write five here. Now remember, as with the first one, I said you can't leave five there, but this time you can't even add just one zero. You've got to make sure that it represents the entire number, right? Now 49,329 is close to 50,000. So therefore, we are going to have to put in the rest of it as zeros. 50,000 is this rounded to one significant figure. And what I often say to the students is this. I say to them, imagine, if you didn't understand why this is the case, imagine you're earning 49,329 pounds as your annual salary. The boss says to you, you know, so-and-so, you've done really well, well done, I'm gonna give you a pay rise. But my pay rise is gonna be so kind because I heard you're a good mathematician. So here you go, here's the contract just write the figure that I should be paying you and I'll send that to payroll and they will pay you that. Now imagine you're like, you took that and you think, and the boss says to you, by the way, round it to one significant figure. Um, and imagine, remember one significant figure, you were going to write this into a five. Imagine you just gave the boss saying, you know what boss, here you go. You know, I've rounded this now to one significant figure and I think this is how much you should pay me now. The boss is gonna think, what's happened? Probably won't even say anything and say, you know what, just sign the contract right now. Let's take this up to payroll because what's happening? You just told the boss that from where you were paid 49,329 pound a year, you're happy for him to give you five pounds a year. Or even, let's say you added another zero just because we did it over there. You're happy with 50 pound a year. Obviously, you wouldn't accept that because you're a top mathematician and you know, logically, hold on a minute, this doesn't make sense. So make sure that you add in your place values because you deserve that pay rise. Right, let's now do it to two significant figures. This was one, SF. So two significant figures, we're gonna consider those two. This number is not gonna do anything to the nine, so it's gonna be four, nine, and then we're gonna write zeros for all of those, okay? So if it's to 2SF, the boss is giving you a, you know, like taking away pay from you. So if it's to two significant figures, you actually, your money, your salary is gonna go down, okay, which you don't want. So make sure you tell the boss that give me my salary to one significant figure and not two. And finally, for the third significant figure, we'll consider these three numbers. And therefore this two won't do anything to this, so it'll be four, nine, three, and we're gonna write zero, zero for those. And there you have it. 49,300 is three significant figures rounded for this number. 
Hopefully you've enjoyed this lesson and you can now round to signal figures. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you press the bell notification to be updated and informed with any new videos as and when they are released. See you in the next lesson.